have a family function tonight. Will you be okay patrolling alone? My lady, my heart purrs hearing your concern for me. Worry not. You go ahead and relax. I'll carry on. See you tomorrow. Ugh. Mm. Uh, Jeff, be careful, okay? Uh, Poutine. This mess all started with a typical mugging incident. It seemed easy enough to handle quickly and call it a day. Canoir! How could I miss the other guy? You should call the police when you can. Or the other guy's gun? I managed to put the civilian out of the way before. And decided it was a good idea to parkour while with fading vision and rapid blood loss. Crash landed me on Marinette's roof. Pon me, Mama, Papa. Hmm. Ha. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Marinette, was it okay to leave him behind? Hmm. As troublesome as can be, Shanoir is pretty dependable. I'm sure he's heading home by now. <laughs> What was that? Huh? Eh? Shao Noir? Uh, he's, he's not, not getting up. up. Uh, uh, hey, are you alright? Uh, 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 okay, now j just relax. Marinette. Are you stunned? Uh, I'm gonna grab some towels and call an ambulance. Huh? <laughs> no ambulance! You're Ollie, a friend of the girl who runs the Lady Blog, correct? So, you know, there's a time limit to my transformation. Think, think, think. I only need stitches, but it's not bad enough for a hospital. I can stand, just. Just nothing! This is all my fault. Stay here! I'll grab my phone! Princess! <sighs> Marinette is a seamstress. Thread isn't the best, but it should do. Princess, if you're worried, I could use some supplies. <laughs> huh? Supplies? We have a structure kit. I only know how to sew clothes, but I can take a look at that. <sighs> The process is more or less the same. I've done it before a few times. Admittedly, the wounds were minor in comparison. Understood. Put your arm around my shoulder. The fun part would be cleaning up the wound. I've got you. Uh, uh. Hmm. Give me a second. It should be here. I need to get Blag a shitload of cheese after this. Huh? Hmm. Right. Okay. So... Huh? Huh? Were you... stopped? No, shot? I, uh, I got careless. I didn't see a second mugger, but it's a graze. The bullet ended up in a wall, so even a black cat can even have a little luck. A mugger? That's not funny. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> this may hurt a little. Mm, it's gonna hurt a lot. <sighs> I'm sorry. Uh, huh? Hmm. Uh. <sighs> Try not to move away, sis. I need to prepare the edges for stitching. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Huh? You okay? Mm. 
I'm doing this wrong, aren't I? It... it has to be deep enough. The skin won't tear, but as close to the edge as you can manage. I can do the first stitch so you can see how far it is just... kind of a need of a minute to steady my hand. Quite doing well, princess, for your first time. This isn't easy, especially when you have prepared for it ahead of time. Silly god. You should have been more careful. Yes, I know. I have to remember, just because someone isn't akumatized, it doesn't make them any less dangerous. <laughs> Ladybug should have been with you. <laughs> Ladybug has a life. One that she values dearly and demands her attention when she can give it. The mugger and myself are the only ones to blame for me, for my getting hurt. <laughs> If I had been smarter, I would have gone out alone, but I'm the one who prefers to, to be in the mask. I guess you're right. I am right. Being a superhero isn't a game. As much as we make joke and be charming, there are certain risks involved. I accept those when I decided to be Cat Noir. I can't be afraid to take a hit. For example, I got shot aside a parkour anyway. Yeah, probably not one of your best moves. You could have gone even more in just leaping and vaulting around. I am. Um, may have panicked a bit. I see in the dark. How did I not notice him? Really, I'm kind of glad my lady didn't see me blunder. show you now, I think. Show me. I need you to cut the thread for each stitch. Okay. Hmm. Almost done. I never need to get shot again. He needs to never get shot again. <sighs> huh? Do you need help standing? Yes, in a few minutes. Maybe twenty. What time is it? Almost half past one. I may need to ask for some cheese. Cheese? I can get some for you. And painkillers. You should try and lay down. Hmm. I would be quite grateful for both. I can imagine I'll be feeling this quite a bit more as the magic recharges. Hmm? Half past one, huh? Then I'll start beeping in about ten minutes. Sooner if you want me to take care of the evidence of treating a gunshot wound. You can take care of that in a moment. I'll be right back. <laughs> Here, Chatelar. Have some water first. You really are too kind, Princess. <sighs> it's 
nothing. It's not nothing. Shh, drink. <laughs> uh huh. If you need anything else, just let me know. I'll do my best. Not everyone can stitch up a silly kitty without preparation. Huh. That was pretty nerve-wracking. You know, I just need time at this point, and privacy. You have been an angel, but a secret identity must be a secret. Cataclysm! Hmm. I'll just be here then. Thank you, princess. my cheese if you had died. Your worry is dully noted. I'll live, but you need to eat. Hmm. It's no cannon bear. But I suppose it will do. <laughs> it was short notice, and stinky cheese isn't the best with baked goods. Well, at least this way, I have a vacation. <laughs> Looks like, but it'll have to start tomorrow. I still need to get back. Ah. Uh... Marinette, you did a good job for helping him out. Uh huh. Was it hard? Yeah, I was real scared I mess up. He didn't though, and he's okay now thanks to you. Princess, it's safe to come in. Huh? White Princess. <laughs> Feeling a bit better? I am. Good. How are you? I'm sure this isn't at all how you imagined your evening would go. Oh, um, I'm fine too. Don't worry about me. Can't be helped. A knight is always concerned for his princess. Maybe in storybooks. Tonight was eventful for both of us, huh? Indeed. I must say, you handle a crisis beautifully. I suspected you were capable of such, but I think I must be quite a sight to see you, going when someone isn't distracted. Beautifully? I was a mess when Shatan. You're very lucky to have survived my first time giving stitches. I can't say I'm surprised, though. You handle it very well, too. Uh-uh. Huh? For a first time, it was handled beautifully. If you want misses, you shouldn't have seen the first time after I went an akumatized villain without Ladybug. Safe to say, I'm glad they didn't remember anything, because that was embarrassing. Uh huh? But, as with everything, practice makes perfect. Get thrown into enough furniture and walls and you learn how to control your reactions. I know, right? Wait, don't agree! I mean, that would have hurt a lot. I guess you must be pretty used to dangerous situations. This probably came as more surprise than anything you could have been prepared for. It is oddly strange that I got hurt by something so mundane, almost funny. I'm built to last. This time next week, I'll be jumping around like nothing happened. Shanoir? Let me tell you about my first fight. You're curious, are you? Is it obvious? It was positively terrible. I tried to be smart, had practice with my abilities so I didn't hurt anyone or get myself killed. Luckily, I had taken some fighting classes and it made me ready for some combat, somewhat. What happened? Well, what I hadn't practiced was the cat instincts. 
We ended up near a seafood restaurant, and I got distracted in the most wonderful smell, which turned out to be fish guts. Got set flying into the poor worker, taking it out to the trash. The worst part is I had a fight while trying to not lick myself clean. The smell eventually drove off the Akuma way and had to take five baths before I stopped smelling delicious. <laughs> I bet you weren't so delicious for everyone else. Oh, far from it. Luckily, my ride knew I was near the trouble as a civilian, so I had an excuse, but I swear it was the first time I had to see his expression change in months. I wonder what Ladybug would have said if she'd been there. If there was one thing lucky about that incident, it's that she wasn't. Not exactly one of my best moments. No, no. I think I prefer this just being our little secret. Secret, right? Are you okay on the floor? I can help you out to my bed, or... It would probably be better to move to something more comfortable, especially as I still need to make the trek back home eventually. <laughs> That's no rush. Easy now. When do you have to leave? I have to be home by morning. I'm supposed to be at school. It'll be red flags if I don't show up for my ride. Though, I suppose we're both going to be tired for school tomorrow. I'm sorry about that, Princess. I have about six more hours before I need to be up. But it's not a big deal. If you're sure. You, on the other hand, will you even be able to go to school? Maybe... Maybe you should skip, until you're healed and feeling better, no? I don't let myself miss school unless it's absolutely necessary. It would be out of character for me, unless I could convince them I was really down for the count. I can manage, I just have to be careful. Doesn't this count as necessary? Can't walk straight is necessary. Hmm... What if someone notices that you're hurting? I still take those training classes. I get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the teacher, so I can usually brush off my bruises from that. As long as I act like it's a bad bruise, I should be able to avoid any problems. <laughs> the only one who'd be tricky is my best friend. He'll catch me up and surprise me sometimes with physical affection. Hmm. I can't speak the ladybug, but... I think she wants you to take it easy, too. I know. My lady is extremely kind, and I know she worries about me. But I only have so much freedom under the mask. If I'm perfect with everything else, then the transgressions caused by the masks are ignored. I don't like risking other things. I can deal with an injury. I understand. If you ever need something, uh, feel free to stop by any time. I've been talking so much. It's a very sweet offer, Princess. I feel I should apologize. I suppose the stress has caught up tonight. <laughs> like I said, it's not a problem, Shatan. This isn't something I find easy to talk about. It was bound to happen at some point. My lady prefers to keep things professional, and honestly, her presence makes it easy to forget anything unpleasant. Hmm. Huh? And I wouldn't want to burden her. She has the more difficult job. I'm just the support, with other options limited. I shouldn't be surprised. It boiled over. Eh? Uh -huh? You shouldn't think like that. She wouldn't be burdened. I'm sure she thinks highly of you and your well-being, so you can be more honest. I know she thinks highly of me. For all she thinks, I'm a silly kin. She wouldn't trust me so if she didn't think I was capable, and of course she cares. Hmm, I get it, but... Even if she's the one purifying the Kumar, both of you work hard to get that far. 
Um, from what everyone can tell... Saint Chanoir, how many times do you saved her life, and vice versa? You're not a sport, you're a team! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not talking about myself, but it's a matter of perspective. Have you ever noticed how much more popular Ladybug is? It's for a good reason. Between the two of us, Paris needs her. If I was lost, Paris could still be saved, because she's there. The difference is that Paris needs her, but she needs me. She saves the victims in the city, and I make sure she can do that. Uh, but you... you're so selfless. Ladybug is lucky to have you as her partner. Well, I love this city. Hmm. And I love her. It's only natural to protect what I love. Huh? Remember that? Huh? <laughs> Mm. Oh, you're asleep. Who we, Papa? Nothing, nothing. I just heard the noise earlier, so I was just checking to see if you're alright. Go back to sleep, Monsieur. Mm, to God. <sighs> Sorry, are you okay? I panicked. I'm fine. That was quick thinking. I guess. Papa knows Chanoir, so he wouldn't be mad to find you here. But explaining things might be a bit difficult. Ah, uh, there is a difference between knowing a hero and discovering a strange boy in his daughter's bed. I would rather not provoke a father who only wants to protect his daughter from alley cats. Alley cat? Mm hmm? I'm glad it's dark. You know, you don't make a bad pillow. It's only natural, princess. Cats are lap pets for a reason. We're pretty soft. Definitely. What was I thinking? Are you still planning to leave? I have to. I'll be noticed in the morning. If they figure out I was sneaking out at night, it'd be worse than skipping school. Knowing my luck, he'd blame my best friend. I'm more of a bad boy than him, but he's the bad influence? His father? Ah, uh, no, yeah, I get it. <sighs> It's not fair to you and your friend in that case. You should get home before morning. I know. I can take my time now. So I will, but you should sleep. Uh? As much as beauty sleep is unnecessary for a princess like yourself... It'll probably make tomorrow easier for you. I'll head out soon. I'm starting to get my second wind. Alright. You're welcome to head back whenever you want. Just be careful. Please make sure you get lots of rest. I will. I'll sleep in as much as I'm allowed and everything. I swear it. You better not just be saying that, Shazan. Good luck tomorrow at school. I hope you feel better soon. Panwee. Bonwit, Marinette.